Hey everybody, it's time for another video. And here I want to ask the wise cat, Kitty Cat, how are you so happy? How are you so happy? Yes, 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 good girl. <laughs> hey everyone, so it's time for another video. Today I want to share with you things that I do in my life and things that I recommend, easy things to be much happier today and every day. Now remember, it's not about knowing, it's about remembering what you know and then applying it. So reminders are so important. So I want to say number one, what do I recommend? Hugging. Hugging has been shown to increase oxytocin, a happy hormone in our body. So when you hug people you're close, you, when your baby gets a hug, you hug another person, your mom or a stranger or like someone, anybody, that makes you happier. Number two, talking to and touching, oops it did. Talking to and touching animals. Hello little kitty cat, you're so beautiful and lovely. And that leads to number three, saying compliments to people. You're so beautiful. Hello little pretty cat, you're so beautiful and wise and intelligent and gorgeous and loving and you're just so much fun. It's in our natural selves to be kind. So that's, that's number four, to be kind. So. Number three is pay compliments and to praise and to encourage and support people. So when we do these things, we feel good. It's part of our nature. I and mean, when we're not doing what's, what's truly us, part of our nature, our higher self, we're disconnected from this. We're, we, we, we're always connected to our higher self, but we're not feeling it. We're not, we're not sort of consciously connected and embracing it. So being kind, giving presence. Yesterday I was in the park and I hugged three people who were who I didn't know that day uh, just by chatting to them on the bench and they're lovely people and it feels so good it was like the highlight and I talk regularly to my neighbour this cat and my neighbour's dog who lives over in that house um, and that leads me to the next one so not only talk to animals or talk to people or praise and compliment animals and people hey guy you're well, well done or um, well done, you look lovely, or I like your hat, or I like your kindness, or... Another one is to talk to your house. Bloody hell, talk to things, like, give give recognition. It's been shown, the worst you can do, I think, to a, a baby, or or even just like stuff like rice grown in, in a bottle, is to ignore it. If you give it negative compliments, like negative criticisms the rice will turn bad if you get, if you write down the praise love gratitude thank you on the bottle the rice will grow very well or if you say this to the rice every day so maybe you don't know this this is like dr Motu's research and lots of other people the power of of the, of the words or the, the written words as well of, of kindness and love and all the gratitude but if you just ignore the rice every single day or if you even ignore the baby it'll just go crazy It'll just and the rice will turn bad. So pay recognition and 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 honor and love and respect and appreciation for your home. Touch the bloody doors, the home. Give a thank you door. I love you. Thank you my seat. Thank you Sally for knitting this. Thank you my fireplace. Live every moment. Laugh every day. Love beyond words. So I've been touching into the whole love beyond words things, and that'll also include being kind and. Not only with compliments, but being kind, like doing something for somebody, doing a favour, being kind, just doing something helpful. Today I cleaned the living room and that was kind to me. Um, yeah, but I guess it was kind to my partner Sally because she doesn't hang out here much, but she has another room she hangs out in. Um, but yeah, be kind, you know, it's in her nature to be kind, it feels good. So let me get on to the laugh, laugh bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anybody concentrate like that. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you can fake laugh. <laughs> 
see I fake laugh and they're really laughing but I was already kind of in the mood ready to laugh the vibration laughing is so good for you <laughs> so just laugh or else just think about something funny and watch something funny remember something hilarious a joke or something like mad funny that happened laughing is so good for you uh, it reminds you of like hugging it actually releases brain chemicals and stuff in your body so another thing I'd say eat chocolate I have dark chocolate every day I, I, uh, it's in my kitchen but uh, dark chocolate has a whole series of like happy brain chemicals that's good for your, your, your body you know here I have some dark chocolate with hemp seeds that I, I tried for the first time so that's another thing try new things try things for the first time experiment have fun reach out have a laugh and then another thing, is, another thing to get happy every day is go out in nature. Today I spent half an hour under a beech tree picking beech nuts. I've got loads of beech nuts in the house. Ooh, my soup is boiling. So this isn't really got to do with how to be happy. You don't have to make soup. <laughs> you don't have to make soup to be happy. But uh, yeah, it can help. <laughs> so I'm having vegan soup. This is another thing. I think lightening your diet, eating, not stuffing yourself, not overeating, helps your happiness. Going to bed early helps your happiness. Getting enough rest that you need helps your happiness, no doubt. It's all physiological, chemical, hormonal, and everything else. So look after your body and exercise outside in nature in the fresh air. What makes me happiest? Tons of oxygen and prana and chi flooding your system, oxygenating your body, alkalizing your body, oxygenating your lungs, touch the grass touch nature today i was talking to the tree touching its leaves and branches saying thank you and you're loving you're beautiful thanking it for its nuts so that ties in what i was saying earlier exercise being shown to alleviate depression enormously like by as much as or more as 80 percent just exercise moving your body is natural it's good for you same way as being out in nature is good for you and natural so one other way to get, be happy is definitely the chocolate. So do take the chocolate. Another way is to just lighten up on yourself. Stop giving yourself all the negative self-chatter. Be kind and friendly to yourself in your words. Same way as you talk to a baby or the person you get on best with in your life. Maybe it's your mum or your dad or somebody else. But talk to you like you talk to them. Full of love and gratitude, kindness, patience and compassion and more. Another thing I'd say is uh, to get happy is have salads. Um, have salads every day lots of them I'm going to have this today at least have salads with uh, your, your food your soup I have salad with cake I have with vegan cake but I think vegan is really important it's really like lighter and better in your system than non-vegan in my experience for many others and for me but no judgment on yourself one step at a time another way to be happy is to be more flexible and more more sort of easy going, more adaptable, more unattached. Be more ready to just adapt and go with the flow. Don't be too fixated or easy to judge. So let go of your judgments, ease up a little bit in your attachments and let go of trying to resist stuff like, you know, of just fighting with stuff. So try to take a more light hearted, easier approach in life, generally speaking. And I'd also recommend having herbal tea for happiness. It's good for you. I swear to God, here's my herbal cabinet. Got loads of herbs. Herbs are good for you, man. I swear to God, they rejuvenated me from the brink of annihilation. Yes, I was crippled, disabled, and dastardly exhausted and sick and wasted for 10 years. So I lost everything, my life, my health, and I'm regaining it back again, big time. Herbs, superfoods and everything I'm saying. Deep breathing is a good way to be happy. But overall, just a recap. Yeah, not about a recap. Just everything there. What do you like? Laugh and hug and be kind. All that shit. <laughs> so what else can we, can we talk about? I'll go back in here. Is there anything else? Um, just be, yeah, live. Live every moment. Like, take a new attitude in life. One that's like positive and excited and you're grateful and you savor and love what you have instead of what you don't have and you you reach out and connect with people and you do favors be of service to the community do something that's helpful to people and do what you find fun and playful and enjoyable some people love to dance some people do art some people play chess some people love nature some people like running or 
or, 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 or listening to music or playing musical instruments. I used to play the guitar but I wasn't really any good but I did it for a while as a hobby. So do what you love. Do what, what are your three top gifts and loves in your life? Try to do them more often. So all of these things will really make you happier and some things you can do easily every day. Just give more hugs, more compliments and kindness. And another thing is to wish people the best. Send them blessings. Say all the best or I care for you and I wish you the best or good luck with what you're doing. And Just be generally very positive in your speech. I swear to God it works so well. So these are some of the things that I do basically in and around every day. Like a lot of it is every day. I hope Especially the more spiritual stuff. I don't take chocolate every day, but I take a fair bit. I like dark chocolate. <laughs> Here's more of the beets nuts I was telling you there. Awesome beets nuts. They're so good for you. They're just bursting with goodness and they're fresh and they're wild and they're free. Holistic picking them. Today I picked rose hips and I'm, and also some um, some um, berries, hawthorn berries that are good for your cardiovascular system and your heart. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And... Uh, have fun and lots of love to you and have a great day. <laughs> be silly, ridiculous, outrageous and crazy too. Let your hair down. Be more like a child. That's the last tip. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, get, send us a comment below. Connect with me. Send me a message, private or a comment. Give us a like. Share with others, please. Your family, friends, neighbours, social media. Join me and befriend me on Twitter, Facebook, etc. etc. Et and just nothing else. Hope you enjoyed the day. So take care. See you. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Tell people you love them. This is so freeing and opens your heart. I love you, I love you, I love you, my mum, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Tell people I love you. It's people who are close to you, people people who you've been afraid or haven't said I love you in ages. Even if it's just a text message or a Facebook message or a Twitter message or in person. And while you're at it, give them a hug. <laughs> Another one is to say sorry. Or, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Try get closure on what's holding you back, what's weighing on your heart, what's making you sad and suffering. Let, try and let get closure from the past. Remember the past. Let the tears consciously cry. Let them out. Feel the pain and let the pain go. You can't, you, ha you have to feel it to release it. So, let it go and let it out. And this is so much, you can be so much sometimes happier. Happiness is all about lightness, so you'll be so much more lighter. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. These are the four words so powerful, the Hawaiian Ho'oponopono. So do that. I'm so happy to say this and I hope you do it and I'm happy for you. So thanks a lot for watching, send me love. Thanks for all of your love and gratitude and support. Really do appreciate it. Bye now.